In this lesson, you'll subtract a three-digit number from a three-digit number containing one or more zeros. Here's an example. 800 minus 496. First, we rewrite the problem in columns like this. And we line up the numbers so that the ones place of the first number is above the ones place of the second number like this. Now, let's subtract the numbers. We always start with the ones place. We have 0 minus 6, so we must take a 1 from the tens place to make 10 ones. But we don't have a 1 in the tens place. Before we can take a 1 from the tens column, we must take a 1 from the hundreds column to make 10 tens. To show that we took a 100, we cross out the 8 in the hundreds column and enter a 7 above it. We enter a 1 here to show that the 100 became 10 tens. Now that we have 10 tens, we can take a 1 from the tens column and make 10 ones. Here, we click on the 1 or the 0 next to it to cross both of them out. We enter 9 in the box above. And we enter a 1 here for the 10 that became 10 ones. Now we can subtract. In the ones column, we have 10 minus 6, which is 4. So we enter 4 in the answer box in the ones column. In the tens column, we have 9 minus 9, which is 0. So we enter 0 in the answer box for the tens column. In the hundreds column, we have 7 minus 4, which is 3. So we enter 3 in the hundreds column answer box. Our final answer is 304. Another example, 500 minus 383. First, we rewrite the problem in columns like this. As before, we line up the numbers so that the digits in each place of the first number are above the digits in the same place of the second number. In the ones place, we have 0 minus 3. So we need to take a 10 from the tens place but we have a zero in the tens place. That means we have to first take a one from the hundreds column to make ten tens before we can subtract. When we take a hundred, we click on the five to cross it out and enter a four in this box to show that we took a one. And we enter a one here to show that the hundred we took became ten tens. Now that we have ten tens, we can take a one from the tens column and make ten ones. Here, we click on the one or the zero next to it to cross both of them out. We enter nine in the box above. And we enter a one here for the ten that became ten ones. Now we can subtract. In the ones column, we have 10 minus 3, which is 7. So we enter 7 here. In the tens column, we have 9 minus 8, which is 1. So we enter 1 in the answer box in the tens column. In the hundreds column, we have 4 minus 3 which is 1. So we enter 1 in the answer box for the hundreds column. Our final answer is 117. Last example. 600 minus 192. First, we rewrite the problem in columns, making sure we line up the numbers in each place like this. In the ones place, we have 0 minus 2. So we have to take 1 tens from the tens column. But we have a 0 in the tens column. 
That means we take a hundred from the hundreds column to make ten tens. We click on the six in the hundreds column to cross it out, and we enter a five above it. We enter a one here to show that the hundred became ten tens. Now that we have ten tens, we can take a one from the tens column and make ten ones. Here, we click on the one or the zero next to it to cross both of them out. We enter nine in the box above, and we enter a one here for the ten that became ten ones. Now we can subtract. In the ones column, we have 10 minus 2, which is 8. So we enter 8 here. In the tens column, we have 9 minus 9, which is 0. So we enter 0 in the answer box for the tens column. In the hundreds column, we have 5 minus 1, which is 4. So we enter 4 in the answer box for the hundreds column. Our final answer is 408. In the remainder of this lesson, you'll work problems just like these on the computer. Enter your work in the answer boxes above the problem and your answer in the answer boxes below the problem.